Hello, my beautiful earth signs. Welcome to Real of Carol with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for the earth element reading. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Let's get into the current energy for you guys in this Mercury retrograde in Aries. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Sorry. Um, I've been so delayed in doing you guys this element read, so I apologize, but thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys come in. Cross watchers, uh, for Earth signs, you are welcome here. Let's get into the current energy for you guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone rising Venus, North Node. Give me honest messages beyond the uh, white light of Tarot Spirit. For the Oracle deck, the Intuitive deck, and the Tarot. For earth signs, how it's good. What is it that they need to know? Seven, uh, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel is here. Okay. Is it speaking of your crown chakra? 41, bust down to a five. There's something changing in your current energy at this time. Yeah, the world. So you guys are setting off onto a new path. 29, bust down to an 11. That's some type of new beginning here. So that's the change. Something you're letting go so that you can um, go into a new era for yourselves. That's really good. The thinking man, okay? So what you guys are doing at this time, collective, uh, 46 bus down to a 10 to a 5. So you got two fives to change. But there's just some type of completion, okay? Something that you guys are wanting to do, you're aspiring to do, is what I'm uh, energetically getting here. It's coming into fruition for you guys, but it doesn't come without some type of sacrifice um, when it comes to um, your forward movement, okay? You guys are on this journey that only you alone can take, and I feel like that's setting... Um, that's setting the standard uh, for you guys moving forward. It even um, even affecting like the relationships that you build as well with people moving forward. Yeah, hold on, let me just make it a little brighter in here. Just a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. All right. Yeah. So, you guys are. You know, with the crown chakra, you know, this is you thinking with your head, right? <laughs> the one on top of your head, not below. <laughs> divine feminine, divine masculine. That goes for both of you. <laughs> Let's get into um, what is this? What is your life purpose here? Because whatever this journey is, it's 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 a good thing. Yeah, writing. So some of you guys could be writers. Right, and you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So, some of you guys could be um, looking to get into filmmaking or uh, write a novel, yeah, some type of body of work. Okay, lots of it, yeah, body of work that you guys are wanting to put out. You could be a tattoo artist, don't have to be, uh, but it involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or uh, exercise training. Okay, come on, personal trainer, you know, I need my body trained. <laughs> listen <laughs> right and some of you guys could be going into teaching there's books okay so some of you guys need to also um you know connect your life in the purpose through your uh, involvement with books that could be writing books again because writing came out first you could be doing some research or something to that effect yeah and spirit is letting you know that you are protected no matter what you are safe and supported while you change your career okay so not all of you will be changing your career but some of you you're thinking about it yeah Practice makes perfect, okay? So, yeah, polish your skills by practicing regularly, all right? Our signs, all right, let's get into the tarot really quick. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to use the Real Love Tarot deck. Um, this is um, the channel's deck here. If you like to purchase this, um, it's available on Etsy. Um, all the information is in the description box below, our signs. All right, so let's just get into it. Let's look at the energy of two, like, you guys are in this energy of being really focused. I'm just move these up here. Being really focused on your um on what it is that you want to do, um and you're thinking heavily about it, which which makes sense why the thinking man would be here as well. 
right? It's like, and also too with the crown chakra, I feel like you guys are really going within and you put a lot of thought into it. Um, at this time, you're being asked to protect your crown. That is what I'm hearing from spirit. So, yeah. What's the messages for my earth signs? Five of Pentacles. Mm. Okay, let's see here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? I'm getting the energy that something that you guys have been working on in the past probably isn't bearing the fruit that you needed to bear. Yeah. So you guys are going from the five to the ten of pentacles. Yeah. And this is why you're doing some type of career change, right? For your highest good. All right. So these spell out queen of pentacles, nine of wands, eight of wands. So you guys are going to be getting some communication as well, possibly from a queen of pentacles, right? Um, or you could be, this is your energy, queen of pentacles, nine of wands, uh, see, oh, boss, this is just your energy. You guys could be getting something's happening fast for you, some type of quick action. Um, but you're guarded. It's just like somebody maybe want to come towards you. Somebody wants to talk to you, okay? But you're guarded from this person, okay? Queen of Pentacles, this is you guys' energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Who is it? Why is this energy here for my love bugs? Okay, dang. That was from Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be a new opportunity that you could have blocked in the past. Or maybe somebody wants to bring you some new type of new offer or uh, some type of beginning job offer. Maybe they want to have some type of investment opportunity with you. Strength. Um, they see you strong in your craft. Six of Swords. This could be somebody who probably didn't want to work with you before, but now they want to come in and work with you. That's really the getting energy I'm getting because of the Nine of Wands here. So you could have blocked this person out of your energy. Maybe they didn't believe in what you did. Maybe they felt like with the Five of Pentacles being here that you didn't have enough. They probably felt like um, before you didn't have enough, but now they see you in the Ten of Pentacles. Aha. Yeah, maybe because you changed something within your career path or, um, or if you're still doing the same career, it's something you changed in your routine that took you from the Five to the Ten. Give it to me, Spirit. Ten of Wands. Yeah, something that was weighing you down you could have been really overwhelmed to get to this point um in your career yeah ten of cups could be dealing with family the fool now this person whoever this family member or family members they want to take a leap of faith towards you okay uh knight of swords yeah they want to move fast hmm i'm giving the energy of uh earth signs you guys could be accelerating fast in your career yep the chariot there's a lot of movement going on here and so somebody is really desiring to take some type of action towards you to come towards you maybe to collaborate or work with you they are they see you having some type of forward movement and now they want to reconcile with you in some way or lay something to rest maybe heal something with the six of swords okay for some of you guys you could be relocating or you're just going through some type of new direction or necessary change eight of cups is here wow all right, so Eight of Cups, what is this popping out? Knight of Cups. So you guys are walking away and going towards your passion. Or did, you could have worked, this could be somebody who has romantic feelings that you walked away from that wants to come towards you now. Eight of Swords, yeah, they're in, oof. This person could have stressed you out. <laughs> That's what I'm kidding. I feel like they're a headache <laughs> with the Eight of Swords. I don't know why. I normally don't read the cards this way, but this is the energy I immediately got. With the Eight of Cups and the Nine of um, Cups here to the uh, Eight of Swords, this person's a headache. You walked away from this person, it seems like. It could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, where they have Scorpio highly aspected in their chart for Pentacles. But somebody's like, maybe holding on to you. Three Pentacles, yeah, they want to collaborate. They do. They want to work together. Yeah. They want to bring in some type of new opportunity uh, to maybe make money together, you know, whatever. But I feel like you feel this person is a headache. You don't really want to be bothered. Yeah. When you walked away, that was your karmic justice, Libra energy. You could have Libra in your chart, <clears throat> magician. You manifested this freedom because I feel like maybe with the hangman being here, you could have felt stuck in this energy. And you decided to move forward anyways without this person. Two of Wands, forward movement. I think Queen of, of Wands on the bottom of the deck. 
Um, you could be dealing with the Queen of Wands, don't have to be, but why is this energy this way? This is somebody you don't want to be bothered with. Yeah, Three of Cups. They could have put you in a third party. Third, why is Three of Cups here? Clarify. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody, you feel like somebody was slowing you down. I guess it was just like High Priestess to the Three of Swords. Yeah. It's just like, you know, if you deal with this person, yeah, to whoever this karmic energy is, third party energy. I feel like when you were dealing with this person, they did they didn't do anything but slow you down. Okay. And now that you're in this high priestess energy, it's just like you really don't want to be bothered. This person is missing you, though. They want to reconcile with you. Or they could be going through some type of de uh, depression at this time. Why is the three of swords here? King of swords. Uh, yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Or you're just in your power. King of pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're just in your power. It's just like um, you're focused on what it is that you want to do. There you are. It's our Taurus energy here. You could be a Taurus. Look at that. Resonates. Mm-hmm. This person could have also took you through some legal issues as well as what I'm getting with the King of Swords here to the King of Pentacles. What is this? King of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Wow, there's a lot of players here. Who's all these people? We got the... Oh, what's... <laughs> Wait a minute now. You got the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Wands. You could have found out some type of truth about this person about what they really did um, from a King of Wands or somebody was doing something in your energy, the star. This is, what's going on here? Nine of Pentacles. It's like multiple people now want to come towards you because they see you as a star. A King of Swords. <laughs> let me just tell you. King of Swords. Here you are, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You're getting some type of truth and clarity. Um, or you could be in your, your boss energy, your boss. Or you're just focused on... Because King of Wands is a boss, right? This is a bold leader, somebody who's a power player, very charming. This could be you. But you're also self-sufficient. So, And yeah, you're self-sufficient on your own. You don't need to be working with a bunch of people in order to have forward movement because you're already in the Nine of Pentacles. Earth sign. Yeah. Star energy. Aquarius, Aquarius energy. Um, you have Aquarius in your chart. Somebody sees you as a star. You're shining as a star. Or you're something that you worked hard for as well that could have took a really long time to come in. It's coming into fruition as well as the energy I'm getting too. With the star card, yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, so to, to be expecting some type of new proposal or um, long-term commitment, it could be in a relationship, but for some of you guys, this could be within your career path as well. I know my board looks crazy. Devil, why is the devil here? Seven of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yeah, so somebody was sending you evil eye, trying to cause you some type of um, defeat here. Are you being protected against this person? This is some type of codependent energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. The sun. Something's been illuminated about them. Queen of Cups. Why is it Queen of Cups? I feel like this is your energy too for some of you guys. Ace of Wands. It's like you could be getting support from a Queen of Cups or whatever after going through some type of um, upheaval with someone. Um, they're helping you get to the Ace of Wands. Hierophant. Or this could be Hierophant. Why is this here? Seven of Pentacles. Our spirit is stepping in to help you um, catapult forward, okay? So whatever d delays and challenges that you guys were facing or whatever, you you guys are being divinely guided to have forward movement, okay? Um, so there's somebody in, in your energy. Could be a queen of cups, could be a mother figure or whatever. It's nurturing to you guys at this time, okay? They're nurturing um, your forward movement, they know that um, your business is important to you, okay? Uh, you could be divine feminine or masculine. Take it out, it resonates. 
and they're uh, helping you get past all these obstacles and challenges and people, because there's a lot of people in your energy who wants a piece of you. Yep, the lovers. Yeah, <laughs> can't make it up. Gemini energy, yeah. And this is this is more stressful than not for when it comes to you, right? A lot of people want to be in your energy, wanting to reconcile with you, come into union with you. I feel like you could have ended a lot of connections. And yeah, and you know, just gone within and did some healing. Dead to the tempers of the page of wands. And when you did that, it brought upon some new um opportunities for you, new beginnings. Um and it helped you focus on your project. Um, whatever it is that you guys have going on. Let me just pull this up really quick. Um, uh, how much time we have here? Okay. Earth signs. What's the let me just get the potential outcome for you? There's multiple people. I mean, I'm child, all of these people that would just start flipping and flying out. <laughs> could be family members, could be friends, could be friends, could be a mix of people who want to now come into union to you know, or together with you. I also feel the energy of some past person wanting to come back who really was more of a headache than anything. Um, I, you just find the energy. I don't feel like you're in the energy of being bothered with this person. It's giving me more of the vibes that you just want to do you and focus on your business, your craft, and whatever it is that you have going on at this time. Um, you're just not interested in entertaining um, outside energies at this time. For some of you guys, like a hot resonates, earth signs. But it's not that you don't have love for, you know, um, you know, some of these individuals who want to come in your energy. I mean, some of them you can care less about, let's just be clear. But like they cause you a lot of obstacles and stagnation. Um, yeah, yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, five of cups and eight of cups. Yeah, I just said it. They cause you a lot of obstacles and, and, and stagnation with the eight of cups or whatever, right? Which caused you to walk away. They just weren't, you know... Whoever this person is, they just wasn't, they were no longer serving your high school. They probably never served it at all, to be honest. Let me just pull these to the side here. Potential outcome here. Ace of Swords is here. Can we not vote? So is he getting half truths about something, some type of um, clarity? Okay. Four Cups. Somebody wants to come in uh, victoriously and bring you some type of offer. Or maybe you're going to be getting um, some recognition for some things that you've done. Maybe somebody wants to offer you some type of opportunity. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, truth. You're getting the truth and clarity or some type of news um, that you've been waiting on. Okay. Um, there is an offer coming in for you, Earth Signs. That's good. What else? This is, yeah, this is all about your stability. Because you guys are really focused. I feel like you're more focused on your stability than not. Queen of Cups. What is this? Something you're passionate about. Or you have um, a lot of, a, you know, um, emotions about. Something you've been stressed about with the Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Why is this? Nine of Pentacles. I feel like there's a queen of cups that's in your energy who's really upset or really stressed out that you're you're getting the nine of pentacles without them. Yeah, eight of cups, you walked away from them. Or you will be seven of six, yes, excuse me, six of swords. You're moving to common waters, focusing on your uh, 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 stability, ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Yeah, something that you worked really hard for. Okay. Hangman, yeah, it was whatever sacrifice, yeah. Look at you, show up, King of Pentacles. So you guys, cause you, I feel like you, you guys had to walk away from individuals or a specific person because you have you stand too much to lose and you really focus. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, Eight of Cups, the Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. It's like some you've mastered yourself, you've mastered your craft or whatever, and now you're being rewarded for all the sacrifices um, that you've made. Just like you've gotten, you've gotten gained some type of wisdom here, King of Pentacles or whatever, and now you're securing your abundance. Everything that you're manifested is coming in for you. Yep, Eight of Swords. Somebody's stressed. It's stressed out. You could have been stressed out. So why is this? Magician to the Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yes, it's like you're, you've been doubting yourself. You you know, maybe you went through some failures here with the Three of Swords. 
But whatever you're passionate about is about to pay off. Yep, four of pentacles. Yeah, something is like you've been holding on tight to something. Queen of pentacles. Look, we got a pair here. King and queen of pentacles. Divine feminine masculine. I don't feel like this is about love. I feel like this is more about your stability and you persevering through a lot of challenges and obstacles and staying focused on your path with the, the Knight of Cups here. It's like whatever it is that you want, you've been attracting exactly what you want. And you've been holding on tight. For this security, for the stability, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just like you stay, um, yeah, you stay very patient and persistent with the Knight of Pentacles. It took you a long time possibly to get here, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you set your priorities and there's your new path, the world. Don't play with me, Ten of Cups. You're about to get everything that you want and it's about to come in a little bit faster. Yeah, Knight of Wands to the Three of Wands. Somebody could want to travel towards you. Have some, it's like you're moving fearlessly. It's like you, you've you had some type of notable growth here. Six of Pentacles and things are starting to balance out for you. Yep. Judgment. Yeah, good. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But this is you thinking positively, strategically planning out your life. And um, what it is that you want. And there it is. Wheel of Fortune. You, Yeah, you're going to get good news about this. Okay? Yeah. Right? So if you were in self-doubt about something, if something was coming in, and uh, if you were making a right decision about your career path, or even if you change paths, um, something is panning out for you, or if you change some a plan within your plan, something that you change or switch moves you forward, and you... It's been a struggle, but you're you persevering. All right, Earth Signs, I love you guys. That's what I have for you. I hope it um, gave you some clarity towards your situation. Um, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button. Okay, as you guys watch this video. And I will see you guys on your next one. Talk to you later. Bye.